Hey guys, Brickman117, welcome back to the channel with my review of the Mega Constructs Halo set GJH06, Master Chief, the Battle for the Ark. Set comes with 638 pieces and no minifigures, but instead you get a 25.85 centimeter buildable statue of the Master Chief. And in my opinion, this is one of the best sets that Mega Constructs has ever produced. If you want to find out why, stay tuned. In the meantime, if you haven't got this set and you do like this set and you think you might want to pick it up, it's currently available on Amazon.com. I've linked it in the description below. If you want to support the channel, I'd appreciate it if you bought that set through that link and that will help fund the channel for future videos. So although this set is not a re-release, the box art has gone through an update. The original set looked like this. And then possibly to fall more in line with the current Halo Infinite sets, they reworked the box art. Both of which I think look absolutely fantastic. I think this set just sells itself. That said, I can appreciate why this wouldn't be everybody's cup of tea. I know for a lot of people it's all about the minifigures and the fact that you don't get any in here I can appreciate that for some people this is just a non-starter. From me personally, what I absolutely loved about this build was the actual build itself. The techniques that they've used to create the shapes that undeniably resemble the Mjolnir armor for the Chief is just absolute pure genius. But it absolutely blows my mind how they've managed to pull this off it is so impressive and we're going to go into some more of that detail we're going to take some closer looks a little bit later on in the video so although this is listed as an 8 plus pro builder set i didn't consider it an overly complex build even if some of the build techniques are somewhat different to the techniques that i've seen used in some previous builds all that put together makes it by far one of the most interesting builds I've ever completed. Not once did I get bored with this build. There's very little repetitiveness, even though his arms and his legs are the same. The main torso section was an absolute joy to build and the legs didn't get boring. They go through pretty quickly and there's so much detailing on them. I pretty much didn't want this build to end. As I said earlier, one of the things that impressed me most about this set is how clever they've been with their parts to make this set come to life. Now, I know there are some specialist pieces within this helmet, but at a glance, you could be forgiven for thinking this was just one or two pieces, but there are actually 28 pieces involved with putting this helmet together, including obviously a specialist piece for the top section, there's the visor, the chin section, and there's also a printed tile here that goes on the back for the port where he inserts the katana chip. Next up we build is the torso. And if we move his arms out the way, this section here, the way they've created this is just absolutely amazing. There are so many pieces and it's difficult to see. It's lost on the camera, but you've got the black undersuit as it comes all the way around here and the detailing is absolutely incredible. And then as you work your way around to the back, all of the vents that he's got everywhere. The detailing is just, it's just so good and it's so clever. When you're building it, all of the techniques are very unusual, but they give the desired effect. And you're also able to twist the torso as well once it's put together, which is absolutely brilliant. Right down to the groin section, every area is just unmistakably the Chief's armor. It's just so impressive and you can see why there's 600 pieces in this set. It's not a huge set but there are a huge amount of small pieces that go into giving this shape the curvature. It's so impressive how they've done that. And then when you come to the arms, the shoulder pads here, so many pieces involved with making this shape up. And again when you look at the angles it's just just brilliant and they do a good job here disguising that ball joint there as well so it does tend to hide it in certain angles so yeah they've done a really good job forearms definitely lacking a bit in the forearms there's obviously exposed anti-studs here you've got all the studs exposed there and there and then even on the outside so definitely didn't really put as much effort into the forearms but i know they like to have a balance of between smoothness and studs just to show that it is actually a stud based set or a brick based set this bit's a bit of a shame you've got all these understuds here but i guess most of the time you're not going to see that and it's quite clever how they've got the tiny little ball joints for the hands here as well with these sections here 
which just act as fingers and the thumb which I thought was really really clever definitely gives the desired effect moving on to the legs again more printed pieces here these are really nice printed pieces one for each leg and then again as you come around here they've done a great job of shaping the Mjolnir around his legs and then again the lower the lower legs absolutely brilliant and the boots as well definitely a bit of a weak spot here with the ankles you can really see the ball joints they've done a good job of hiding it on the knees which was nice but against certain angles it lets it down but you're never going to be able to get away from that if you want articulation so again it's just so much detail which i don't really think even on camera here it doesn't fully do this model justice you really do need to build it even down to this assault rifle it just looks so good they've done such a good job i'm just so impressed as i'm sure you can tell so now that I've been through everything that I liked about this set, you might be surprised to hear me say there are a few things that I don't like about this set, even though it's got to be one of my favourite sets I've ever built from Mega Constructs. There are some problems with it, and I'm going to show you one of the problems here. When you look at this in its pose like this, it does look fantastic, and anybody's going to be pleased to have this on the display shelf, but how I've got it posed now wasn't easy to do and with the slightest wobble he comes off balance and then he will fall over i'll show you that in a minute but before i do that i just want you to take note of his head position i wanted the chief looking straight ahead like he does in this image here he looks like he's sort of taking a stance forward and looking relatively straight ahead his torso is hunched over forwards and his head's looking up you can't really make his head look up like that without removing these pieces from the back basically around here these pieces come from up here and without removing them his head will not bend further up than that so when he's in this position he's always looking down which isn't too bad in itself it still looks pretty good but if you want him to look up you can't it was really easy to modify that and just remove these bits which some would argue you don't want to do that if you want to be able to pose him but for me it's no big chore to remove those pieces i can put them back you've got the instructions you can make it how it's supposed to be any time again in the future now the other issue is is that with his balance it's really difficult to get it in the right position if you just put him slightly off he'll just fall over and then his legs fall off and all sorts so it's very tricky. I would imagine there'd be a lot of people that would get very frustrated with trying to balance it in this pose. That said, you don't have to balance him in this pose, do you? You can just pull him off of the base or you can have him with both legs placed down like this and then you've got no worries about him falling over. So there are options there. I just personally wish that these ball joints were a little bit stronger. They just need a bit more friction in them to be able to hold up the weight because it is quite a heavy set. He does weigh a bit, but obviously he's 630 odd pieces, so it's bound to have a bit of weight to him. And then the final issue, which I think is possibly difficult to overcome, is certain angles, it just the illusion just falls away when you see these ball joints. Some angles, they're quite well hidden, and he looks absolutely fantastic. They've done such a good job of concealing that. The leg joints here just disappear. But trying to lose these ball joints is probably impossible. But you're always going to have those kind of design limitations when you're dealing with this kind of set. But those really are about the only two things I can nitpick with this set. And it doesn't detract from the set at all in my mind. You just have to be a little bit patient when you're trying to set it up. In terms of value for money, I think this set was absolutely fantastic. When I got it from Amazon, it was on special for $33 for over 600 pieces. Now, granted, a lot of these pieces are small pieces, but they're very handy specialist pieces. So for mock builders like me, you'll be incredibly pleased to see how many spare pieces. You can't guarantee it, but in this set, I ended up with all of these spare pieces and all of these spare pieces and all of these there are 80 spare pieces here all of which are very handy useful type pieces that you get for absolutely free now if that's not good value for money i don't know what is 
So to summarize my thoughts on this set, it absolutely blew all of my expectations out of the park and I really do truly love it. It's definitely one of my favorite all time Mega Construct sets and I'd be very surprised if any serious Mega Constructs collector would do without this in their collection. It really was a much more enjoyable build than I had anticipated as I said earlier. But before I go, I just want to, I know I've had my hands over this thing all through the video, but I still want to put a minifig in front of it just so you can gauge exactly how big this thing is. Now, I know this is an infinite chief. It's not the same, but it really does put into perspective exactly how big this buildable master chief is and how good it's going to look on your shelf. And that's just about it. So I hope you enjoyed that review. I know it's an older set, but it's new to me and I really enjoyed building it. I wanted to do a review for it and hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on it. So that's all for now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.